And so question three then from the 2016 New Higher Maths paper one, a reconciliation. Look at that, four marks. Couldn't get easier. You might think, oh, get the value of U4. That's going to take a bit of plodding, working your way up to that. But no, it gives you U3, so you're just one away. So just pop that in then. So it'll be a third of the term before, which is the six, and add on 10. Third of six is two, two and 10 is 12, and there you go. Now part B for one mark. Explain why this sequence approaches a limit as n tends to infinity. Well, the reason is it's been multiplied. The coefficient is a proper fraction, so you'd have to state that. Since one third is a proper fraction between one and negative one, that means that un will approach a limit as n tends to infinity. It's only the one mark. There's various things you could write down, but the important bit is this part here. It's a proper fraction. And stating this, not but just putting something ambiguous down like an A. And the last part is, for two marks, what is this limit? Well, you could work it out either of the two ways. In the last year's exam, they had them both down. So you could either just go straight in with the formula, B over 1 minus A, B being the 10, A being the third, so it's 1 minus a third. And then multiplying everything by 3, or whichever way you choose, you'd have 30 over 3 minus 1, 30 over 2, which is 15. So the limit's 15. You may have started by saying, well, if un approaches a limit, that means you'll still have the same answer after you multiply it by a third and add 10. And then solving that equation would be L minus a third of L would equal 10. And then that leaves you with two-thirds of L equals 10. And that just takes you back to here, of course. L equals 10 over two-thirds, which is again 15.